Hi, I'm Liam Coombs and I'm a first year film student. Hi, I'm Mindy, I'm year one studying digital film and screen arts. Hello, my name is Cecily and I'm a first year DFSA student. Hi, I'm Tom Moulton. I've graduated last year. My name's Christopher Camilleri. I'm in year three and I'm studying computer games art. Hi, my name is TJ and I'm a third year studying DFSA. Do you think being a student has helped you find your independence? Yes, yeah, very much. Um, no, no, I had to... I mean, you could just leave it at that. I'm definitely more independent now. Like, I'm thinking about myself and my future. Yeah. Like, getting work done. Yeah. Everything's, like very independently done so there's no like there's like no one telling you like you gotta do this yeah and this for this deadline it's kind of like you get given yeah it's a deadline quite like you work to it. here it is get on with it you yeah. do it you, that's great if you don't do it well you've paid for it you've screwed yourself <laughs> it's kind of not threw me under the bus slightly but it's kind of made me kind of have to take a proactive yeah. approach and really kind of looking after myself like i go like it's just great though because it was going to have to happen eventually and I feel if it was just me moving out, you know, to London, you know, without university, that would have been even more of a culture shock. Good luck with that, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I think with university, because you've got that safety net, you know, because you've got, you've got stuff to do mm. as well, so I think that's really important. It's even better living in a house with like three other people, oh, yeah. six other people, because if there's someone in that house who doesn't know how to cook. Yeah. Like, they will be forced to learn how to cook. So it's so cute, like, watching other students in the first couple of weeks learning how to boil pasta. Yeah. And, like, throwing on a tin of tomatoes or something and being like, yeah, we cooked! Most first years, they come in thinking, oh, my parents aren't here to watch me anymore, I'm gonna go wild, <laughs> I, got, I got all this money, drink, 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 and drink. Uni isn't there to have fun as well, mm. but it's like, it's good that you're not spending all your money immediately. Like that's like probably the worst position you can put yourself. It is like managing money, but you know it's yeah. very much like something it's, you've it's got. It's way cheaper. Yeah, you've got to, and that's something I never really thought about much before because I've always had something in the bank. I always had that money to fall back on if I ever needed it, and now I don't. You know, I'm very much you know got to be a bit more careful, and that's something that is very important to learn now, so that I don't make those mistakes later yeah. on in life because. If I make the mistake now, then I can deal with it. You know, there is, there is safety nets yeah, in place. This is your like your safe learning period. Yeah. If yeah. ever there was, there was exactly. one. And if I if I mess up, then there is something there. If but yeah. if I mess up in two three years time, then that's not good. Then I'm Ooh. then I'm screwed. You yeah. Know, two two three years time is not a good time to learn how to boil pasta. Yes. I think. I mean that ship has sailed. How have you found dealing with deadline stress? And do you have any tips for me? <laughs> uh, the thing about deadlines, right, is that you, they will seem very far away until they're not. Yep. And I'm, I'm horrible at organising my time and my management mm -hmm. and I will literally feel like I have so much time, oh I can do anything, oh this research can wait. Yeah. And then a week before I'm like, I have so much to do, yeah. I, have, I cannot live my life right now unless I work. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how I work, but it's not good. So, if I have to give any tips, it's be better than me. <laughs> uh, literally, no, but just have a notebook, have like a blackboard, have something where you just like yeah. write up something like at least every Friday work towards your essay. Try to get like a routine going. Do little, but often you'll be fine. Okay. I don't do that. <laughs> I think the last two weeks I've been in the library until eight every single night. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna struggle. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It will be struggle with you right there. When you're in 30, I'll like, uh, I'll be hopefully living a good life. Yeah. And I'll just call you up and be like, you alright? <laughs> you <laughs> didn't need... have some fun with money, like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Taylor Swift. <laughs> University is like the best way of getting life experiences because it's just so condensed in three years you're meeting hundreds of different people you're making friends that are going to be like lifelong but it's your crucible your burning pot to get all the information that you do and don't need mm. but you get information is the dissertation as daunting as it sounds yes in every single way i mean my dyslexia tour describes it as four essays into one which 
is to me <laughs> makes me cry. You have to put the effort in really early. If not, you're pretty much screwed and we're very, very behind. Like how early is early? They say at the end of your second year, I mean you have to you have by the end of your second year you have a proposal. So you have to have you have to think of a question before you actually do anything. But I mean at the big most of us in our course didn't start doing anything until the beginning of this year. If you could give first year you one piece of advice, what would it be? Oh sounds kind of like a cop out just giving them one piece of advice. Try harder, uh, don't be lazy and um, make as many friends as possible because like you need them. <laughs> Utilize this first year of university to the maximum extent uh, because you will have so many opportunities coming your way and honestly some of them you're going to think oh it's okay I have time to do that later or uh, I don't feel like I have the skills to do that at this current time uh, but I just try anyway uh, just try it and if it fails then it failed but you can learn something from it and then you can try again another time. Don't care what anyone else thinks of you. If you're self-conscious to show people who you really are, then it's kind of wasted time. Practice and practice and practice every single day. Don't just watch TV or play PS4. Never stop creating. Just keep moving forward. You'll think that university will go really slowly. It won't. Be you. Don't care what other people think. 